Hello, I'm Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs. Thank you to UPlan for inviting me to speak with you during today's policy briefing. I'm so excited to be joining you to talk about the important role parents play in shaping policy, because when it comes to understanding what children and families really need, no one knows better than parents. I think we can all agree that for too long, the voices of parents and caregivers weren't really heard in Washington. And when you don't center parents and kids and caregivers in policymaking, it's not surprising that we end up with a national child care crisis and an economy that isn't working for millions of families. In San Diego, where I'm proud to represent, 70% of children under five didn't have access to the child care slots they needed before the pandemic. 66% of families were living in a child care desert. And when COVID hit, more than 500 local providers closed their doors. For the families lucky enough to find care, it's simply unaffordable. Center-based care in San Diego can average $17,000 a year. That's simply unacceptable. I'm working every day to build a child care system that works for families and for kids. And this work isn't new for me. Before coming to Congress, I founded San Diego for Every Child, a coalition dedicated to ending the experience of childhood poverty in San Diego County. When the pandemic hit, we adapted our mission to serve San Diegans in crisis, mobilizing funding to support childcare for essential workers. I was proud to work with local representatives from Parent Voices on those efforts, and I'm proud to be continuing the fight to end childhood poverty and bolster our childcare system alongside local leaders like Parent Voices CA. Last year, my team and I worked around the clock to expand access to child care in the Build Back Better Act and ensure that most families would pay no more than 7% of their income on child care. And while I know we're all disappointed and angry that the Build Back Better Act didn't become law, I do think it signaled a real shift in the way we think about our child care crisis. The majority of the House of Representatives supported the largest investment in child care and early education since the creation of Head Start in the 1960s. That's huge, and it means that this is a fight that we can win. San Diego is a proud border community with many mixed status families, and we know better than most how important our immigrant communities are to the fabric of our society. That's why I'm so grateful to UPlan members for championing the Lift the Bar Act, which would lift the arbitrary and unfair barriers on immigrant families' access to programs like SNAP and TANF, and why I'm proud to be an original co-sponsor of it. All of these investments aren't just the right thing to do to give kids and families a strong start. They're also the fiscally responsible thing to do. We lose a trillion dollars a year due to the adverse effects of child poverty, up to 5% of GDP, because millions of parents and caregivers can't afford the care they need to work. And the investments that we make in kids pay off across a lifetime. We save $6 for every $1 we invest in early childhood programs. So while some of my colleagues may argue we can't afford to invest in our care system and in our kids, the truth is that we can't afford not to. So thank you to UPlan and to the parents here today for keeping up the fight. We need your voice, we need your expertise, and we need your partnership now more than ever. I am so grateful to be doing this work alongside all of you. Thank you so much.